it's your girl crystal O, and today i'm going to be sharing about my recent weight loss journey slash fitness journey um so if you follow me on instagram you might have seen um my reel or my tiktok about how i lost 15 pounds in one month one month in a week few days maybe um but around one month per se so as mentioned in one of my previous videos, I did have a major surgery in December of 2021. And um, after that, um, it was just really hard for me to, I would say, you know, um, get back on uh, the bandwagon because of, of course, the pain from the surgery. But um, it was also difficult due to some other reasons that I will not discuss in this video just yet. I um, got the surgery, I started kind of recovering. Um, the minute I was cleared to start working out again, I told myself that I was going to lose the weight that I felt I had been so unhappy with that you know I had gained. And um, at this point, you know, when I stepped on the scale, I was actually past 200 pounds. I was over 200 pounds. And for me personally, that's the heaviest I've ever weighed. And you know, that's just not a weight that I wanted to be at. So, of course, you have to consider, you know, my height, you have to consider um, just hormones, you have to consider um, lots of different things when you think about weight, muscle mass, and all types of stuff. So if you're watching this video, I also don't want to feed, um, you know, any disillusion of, you know, your body and how you should be because my, my goal is never to project you know any insecurity or to in a sense enhance that you know in you my goal is for you to love yourself while also working on your fitness journey and your body you know the goals that you have for yourself health wise so um please do not hear me say that pushing 200 or being over 200 is a bad thing um just personally for me it was the heaviest i had ever weighed and I really felt like, okay, it's time to do something or to at least get into a mode where I'm willing to lose this weight and discipline myself. And I can say for one that when I was over 200 pounds, I wasn't healthy. Like I wasn't eating healthy. I didn't have healthy behaviors like working out, you know, consistently. So I wasn't healthy. I wasn't an, I wasn't an over 200 pound healthy person. I was an unhealthy person overall. So I knew I had to do something to get myself back into shape quickly and pretty drastically. So I believe um, after I had my surgery, um, come December, January, February, I told myself that I was going to start this thing called Whole30 again. Um, and I've done it before. If you are, you know, an OG or maybe you've been following me for some time now, you might have seen one of my videos a few years ago um, in 2020 when I did Whole30 for the first time. Um, it was very effective, it was very helpful, and it helped me lose weight as well. Whole30 is not just about weight loss, it's also about other things like figuring out what inflames your body, what kind of triggers different bowel issues and things like that. Um, so it's kind of like this holistic approach to identifying foods that really aren't for you. So for example, oatmeal is not for me. Um, if I eat oatmeal, it will bloat me and it will like give me major bowel cramping and it just does not feel good. So I was able to identify that because I eliminated, I eliminated oats for about a month and then ate it again my body was thrown <laughs> so um, I really did like doing whole 30 because one it helps you really uh, discipline yourself for me I thrive on you know structure and then being disciplined so if I have a script I can follow it even if it's like really challenging so that's essentially what I did I did whole 30 and then I got active um, I started seeing a personal trainer um, and I work with her twice to three times, two to three times a week. And that is basically how I was able to shed that weight. Um, of course, my, you know, my whole 30 journey wasn't perfect per se. 
um, I think on Valentine's Day I was like I'm gonna enjoy myself a little bit you know um, so I wouldn't say I was by the book whole 30 like hardcore um, but I believe that with the dedication and just better food choices I was still able to shed a lot of pounds and that's how I lost 15 pounds so I do still have more fitness goals um, in mind but as of right now I am gonna just maintain and just tone up and continue working on that and then I think come May, I might do Whole30 again, just to kind of push myself and see, you know, kind of what I can do, um, you know, health-wise for myself, as well as just like fitness goals, you know? Um, like I said, I gained a lot of weight um, in 2021 due to reasons that will not be discussed just yet, but um, I will say that it does feel good to have control control of my body and to um, do things that are good for it in terms of you know eating healthier working out um, having that mental discipline having that emotional discipline so I really do um, you know enjoy it it makes me feel like yes I have freedom right instead of like binging food and then feeling horrible about doing it so um, yeah that's basically how I shedded that much weight I know a lot of you guys were asking on TikTok and on Instagram, um, just kind of a more detailed video. So here is like my detailed video. Um, I guess it's not like that much <laughs> of details, but I hope I gave you guys um, some helpful details. I don't do a lot of heavy lifting when it comes to my workouts. Um, I would say I do more like body weight lifting. So my trainer, you know, has a lot of exercises that requires my body, you know, me lifting my body weight, which <laughs> A little heavy okay because I have a lot of muscle mass I have a lot of muscle mass and I will also say that you know when it comes to your journey and your fitness journey please have a you know a goal that is realistic and natural to you and for you so for example um, you know in the past I would always be like oh my gosh I want to be like skinny and just like so like tiny and you know I just want to look like I can't lift a pencil. <laughs> That's just, you know, what I feel society has projected on us as women that we are supposed to be tiny and you know kind of fragile looking and just whatever else and that's what I desired um, but the more and more I thought about it and the more and more I looked at my body and just the way our body is shaped you know um, I realized that I have you know my natural body tendency fit is to look more muscular and that's not a bad thing I think that for years I had thought it was bad because I have all brothers and the last thing I wanted to do was look like a man so um, I wanted to you know straight I wanted to completely stay away from you know fit arms or just like toned arms or toned body because I didn't want to look like a man at all but it's like that's being muscular is not what manhood is you know built on you know so I feel like coming to terms with my body type and embracing it and you know loving that and enhancing that like through working out has helped me so much because if I was still trying to pursue being like you know whatever I wanted to become years ago um, or whatever the idea of beauty or standard that I had of beauty it would be so unrealistic and I might even go to unhealthy measures to reach that but I am no longer in that space I'm in a space where I want to enhance the body that I have and get this body right here to the best peak performance or the best peak you know fitness level that it can get to because this is the body that I'm working with you can't be a circle trying to be a triangle it's just not possible or even healthily possible right so that's my encouragement for you if you are on your journey um, you know just be patient with yourself show yourself some grace um, and find that discipline you know you are going to have to put in the work I will not say that this journey was easy at all I just knew that I had to push myself to make sure I knew it would happen um, and it's hard it's hard because you know I am married and my husband you know literally has the metabolism of a nine month old so he like burns all this weight or not all this weight but he burns all this food so quickly meanwhile if I eat a chip I have like a third chin coming in you know so 
we're different. It's, it's a struggle, but uh, we're making it work. Anywho, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know. I'm more than happy to go into more details if you guys have questions. Just let me know in the comment section if you guys have any other questions for me. Um, make sure to like this video. Make sure to subscribe if you are new here. And I will chat with you guys later. Bye.